So I know I can ask this question for most of you that arrived here this evening, but um, most of us, except for two I know for sure, arrived by car. And if you look at your car outside and you kind of think of what makes that car dependable? What makes that car predictable? What makes that car reliable? Well, you may look at it and say, well, I've taken good care of it. I, I've put a lot of work into making sure that it gets me from A to B. And you can even look and see, well, it served me for many, many miles. I, the little blue one we got out there has got a little over 200,000 miles on it. A lot of trips back and forth to your end tool. And uh, that's been a pretty reliable car. It's predictable, it's dependable, and it's reliable. So let's think of this in a different realm. Think of it in forecasts. When you listen to the weather, man, and you say, I'm not too sure about that forecast that's three weeks out from now. The long-range forecast is probably not one of those things we're going to say is extremely predictable, reliable, or dependable, because we know things can change. We know that it's not always going to be, um, when it comes down to uh, that day, it's probably not going to be exactly what they predicted three weeks ago. There are a few things, though, that we can know for sure that are predictable, dependable, and reliable. 1 John chapter 5. Verses 14 and 15. It says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have, that we will have the petitions that we have asked of him. Now, why do we have this confidence? Why do we have this dependability? And reliability. It's because we know that God has never failed on his word. His long-range forecast has always been true. It's not been off by a degree. It's always spot on. And we know that if we ask of anything of him, he will provide these things for us. Look over in Romans chapter 15. <clears throat> 15 verse 14. Why was Paul confident? What was he confident in? Now I, I myself am confident concerning you, my brethren, that you are also full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and also able to admonish one another. Paul knew those Christians in Rome. They were predictable. They were reliable. They were faithful. And he had confidence in them, knowing that they were full of goodness, that they were going to do the things that they had set out to do. So I ask you, are we predictable? Are we reliable? Can God rely upon us? Can we be reliable to follow through like Paul did about the, the brethren in Rome? Is, would he have been confident in us? Is God confident in us? These are some things we need to think about as we journey through the week. Are we consistent? Is our long-range forecast going to show and, and pair with what we ought to be living like? In Roman, or I'm sorry, in Revelation, where we just finished up in our studies this evening, there was a couple sections that hit me as we were closing up the end of class. Chapter 22, verses 12 and 11, or, or 12, I'm sorry, 12 and 20, <clears throat> talks about, Behold, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me to give to the one according to his work. Now, that could be a long-range forecast, and that could be a short-range forecast. just depends on what side we're on. 
And it says the same thing in uh, chapter 20, verse uh, chapter 20, 2, verse 20, it says the same thing. I am coming quickly. Surely I am coming quickly. So how well do you believe God's long-range forecast? He's held true of everything else he's said so far. What makes us think that this won't be true as well? We should be looking to make sure that we're going to be dependable, reliable, predictable in our walk with Christ. And if we haven't been, we need to make changes. If you need to make that change, come forward as we stand and sing.